everyone. Welcome to another Century Box stream. I'm your host, Chris Sheriff. Joining me tonight, we have Bill and Nick again. Hello. No Greg today, as he is ill, unfortunately. So, Poor Greg. You know, wish him well and make sure he gets back to do the shows, because I have no idea how to play all of the games he wanted to play. So we're not doing Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective tonight. We are going to do an unboxing of Warhammer Underworld's Shadespire. Should probably hold it so it's not reflecting all that yeah. light. So That's what the people want. <laughs> Bill has got nails, so we're going to let him do the honours of opening the box. And this is also our news segment. So I'm opening this right yeah. now. You get the honours of opening the box. I'm going to pretend like I didn't already do that. <laughs> Don't mess it up, Bill. Five minutes ago. I would still some trim up on it. Okay. So I did play a game with our demo, one of our demo sets with Sam earlier. To okay. Try and get a rose name. Did you crush her? She crushed me. Oh. She had the Stormcast, and she used the female Stormcast uh, because of obviously representation. Okay. And um, <laughs> cool. she Same put loads of upgrades on it, which we did wrong. Okay. And then I just chopped her head off, ah. and then she crushed me anyway. <laughs> We'd only talk in that bit. So we already have one of those, yeah. I guess. Here's the rule book. Double check that we've got all the contents. That's so, one of these. Rule book. Quick set stuff. Ah. We've pre assembled all of the other miniatures. Oh, yeah. And uh, the curves. I will switch it to this camera if you want to hold them up to the. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's so right. So you get five corn bloodbound and three Stormcast Eternals, <laughs> including the awesome female Stormcast. They are all push fit. This one. Uh, I will say that I did have to use a tiny bit of glue on the female Stormcast because she's a little bit intricate in this shoulder. Here. And if anyone's curious, that's what Shadespire looks like. Yeah. <laughs> It's imaginary. It's a city of um, mirrors. Yeah. They That's went so. together. They go together well, though, generally? Yeah, everything else is, all of yours are all just pushed together. Oh. No glue on them. <laughs> you get bags. <laughs> you get a bunch of bags. Something I do actually like to see yeah. in a board game yeah. when they give you storage for all the I points. do like that, too. Yeah. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah. It's just nice. All right. We will open the rules. So I'm going to flip it over to the other camera again. And we will basically go through the demo game. I'll move over. Let Bill have the limelight. So if you look at those decks that you are in front of you, you have one that says um, Wood Reavers, one that is like Wood Reavers or some Stormcasty thing. Yeah, on this camera here. And then an extra one which says extra cards don't open until you've played the game a little bit. So we are not using the extra ones that you don't use until you've played the game. Right. We are not using those. No, those we are, are like using the, the, yeah, the, the modifications. Your, your proton torpedoes and whatnot. <laughs> yes. We will get to the, uh, <laughs> the similes with X-Wing very soon. So... Totally the first thing we're going to do is basically run through the quick start sheet first. So Bill will need Steelheart and Bright Shield, and Nick will need Garak and Sarik. And we only need one board for this pit. Oh, oh. So this is just going to introduce the base mechanics of the game. So we will bring the board into the middle. So the board is broken up into hexes, mm -hmm. should be clear enough on this one. And then different symbols on them. So these symbols are, in the normal game are your starting positions. Mm -hmm. But for the purposes of this demo it's irrelevant. So once you've picked your characters, we will place Seven and Garrick in different hexagonal spaces, which are called hexes. Mm on one of the game boards with three empty hexes between them. Oh, uh, so, one of the game boards. Yeah. So as long as you have so three wait, away. One, two, three spaces yeah. between them, yeah. plus so, one is where you go. Exactly. You've figured out the counting system already. <laughs> <laughs> so, to play a game, there are three rounds in a game of Shadespire, each divided into an action phase and an end phase. In each action phase, the player is taken in turns to make actions, so moving, attacking, charging, etc. 
with the fighters. You don't necessarily have to do an action with all of your fighters if you're playing some of the uh, other war bands. I believe the undead are going to have like seven activate uh, seven mm -hmm. models. Right. You still only get four activations, so that's how the game is going to balance. Mm. Uh, so what we're going to do first is movement. So when you move a fighter, which is called making a move action, you move them up to a number of hexes equal to a movement characteristic. So if you get to seven, oh, seven, or whatever his name is. Severin. Severin, the number in the bottom left. In fact, I've got this camera as well because, you know, preparation. It's on top of There we go. Yeah. And that one <laughs> is the cable. a nice point to cut from. That's what we're saying. So, Severin has a movement characteristic of three. Transition. Yeah, look at that smooth. Producer. Definitely no need to edit. <laughs> <laughs> so this number in the bottom left is a movement characteristic. I should really get some with nicer hands than me. A bit of all my nails. I was nervous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mine are filthy. So, uh, once the fighter has moved, they cannot move again until the next round. You will place a move token next to them. So... You want to, so you don't want to, you have to, you move Severin so that he is adjacent to Garrick. So I'm going to swipe the board a little bit so we can see the awesomeness of the figures. So do you want to move him up though? One, two, so he's adjacent. <laughs> yeah, no options. No, yeah. There are no options here. So then we no put the will. movement. So that character cannot move again in this round. So it now slips to the other player to do one of his four activations. So you go up and get cover, making an attack. So Garrick's turn to act and he attacks. So we get Garrick's card. We'll show off the attack here. So this one here is the range of the attack. So range one is an adjacent square, hex. And the number of dice you roll is equal to the number next to this dice looking symbol here. You'll be rolling two dice and you'll be looking for a hammers or a critical successes. And you Hitching now attack. Dice. So you're going to roll all three dice, Nick. And we'll get onto those defense shortly. Oh yeah, look at that. So we have a hammer. So that is one success. And it was one of these half thingy symbols yeah. here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so Bill's defense is done on a black die. He rolls one. And he rolled an arrow, which you will see is not a shield. So it doesn't match. So when we compare successes, Bill got zero, Nick got one. So we would apply wound characteristic cards onto the card. So equal to a damage on the attack, which is two, so you would need an extra one. Oh, right, so damage on the attack. Yeah. Smashy, smashy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Half dead. Unfortunately, uh, we will assume that Garrick's attack fails. <laughs> I believe is the outcome of this attack. In this example, we will assume that Severin won, so we actually rolled one of these and the attack failed, so his damage goes away. Never okay. happened. Uh, okay. Okay. Unlucky, okay. Nick. Un Redcon. Redcon. You're Unlucky. Not, you're not Stormcast enough. <laughs> yeah. Have you tried playing blue? <laughs> okay. So now years. <laughs> we are going to learn about the charge <laughs> action. Blue. So for charges, it's a liberator's turn to act. Oh boy. So you place um, the Bright Shield Lady, Ankarad, is it? Ankarad. Yeah. Place it on a hex on the game board within three he hexes of Garrick. Within three. So one, two, three. Yep. Ankarad will now charge at Garrick. When a fighter makes a charge action, they cannot move and attack. So they can move and attack at the same time. It's a very powerful action, but a fighter that charges cannot do anything for the rest of the round. So you have the lovely move and charge token here. So that means you can't right. assign any more actions to that figure. Uh, these are double-sided? Yes. So there we go. The, Very handy. The no hex is opposite of the no, no move, hex. No move, no attack. No move or attack. You, you do get to perform an attack. So right. if we look at her attack characteristic, which was three, and we're looking for hammers. So we have hammers and criticals. 
But because she has help, you now get to add in this symbol counts as success as well. Oh, he, great. Yeah. So Phil does not roll any of those symbols or any hammers. So it's a swing and a miss. But I did roll one of those symbols. Yeah, which isn't one of these symbols. Oh, it's only the half ones? Yeah. Oh. yeah. This game sucks. Yeah. <laughs> no damage at all. Fun time. So Nick could roll his defense because he'd be looking for swooshy arrows. But Do I even need to? You, you can't. Like you're, you're obliged, obliged to. Look at that. So you, Nick got one success to build zero, so no it's damage. Twice now. <laughs> yeah, but we wiped, yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> you just got overruled by the judge. I feel like the so, special kid. <laughs> the, liber the Liberators have now made, had two activations, a move and a charge, while the Blood Reavers have had one an attack. An activation in most cases is simply taking an action with a fighter. In each action phase, each side can take four. So Nick's still got three actions left, he's got two, mm -hmm. and it's Nick's turn to make an action. Great. So, place sake, or place blooded sake anywhere on the game board. Yeah, not Lord. not miles away from the fighting. Good move. It is now a Blood Reaver's turn to take an action. They have three activations left in this phase. The Liberators have two. It's up to you to finish the action phase. All right. So, what would you like to do, Nick? I think I want to attack that guy. Yeah, go for it. So what is Pretty his tough. abilities? Um, so it's it's Great tough. Axe, which is two white dice. Yep. Um, I hit on the hammer or axe things. Uh, that's pretty much it. Do I also get extra things because of positioning? Yeah. Well, I got a, so you got a critical. Got a so that's good. For one of us. Yeah. Oh, although oh. Bill blocked it. Yes. So now we get to introduce an, another rule. Where are we? So we're looking at Ankarat Bright Shield. This fighter rolls a block or a critical when the target of an attack would inspire her. Oh! Oh, oh no, now I'm inspired. Oh yeah. Oh man. Could always shine it as well as the stuff on this side. You see, you now get even more defense. Your attacks. Sometimes I think you guys speed up. So each character has got different ways of becoming inspired. Okay. The Budbound all become sorry, Bud Reavers all become inspired once when at least three, three models are out yeah. of action. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So they have more chance of actually becoming inspired throughout the game because things die and then they just get good. Yeah, that's cool. But well, do you want to try a proper game? Sure, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I want to be inspired. So we'll so introduce why? more rules now. Stole so. some of your friends. Oh. Do you want to Jeez, grab metal. two dice each and roll off looking for hammers? None. One! None. Okay. So Bill will Goes be the well. first player. So Bill brought this game board from his collection <laughs> to the game. So you pick a side and place it on the table. So Nick, being player two, picks a side of his game board and puts it joining the other game board with a minimum of three hexes lined up. So you could slide it over left to right if you wanted. If, if you thought there was some sort of advantage to be gained therein. Ooh, sure, let's do that. Just because. Or, or just because, because you have no idea what you're doing. Yeah, so I'm just going to slide <laughs> exactly more into a do. shot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Exactly. So now we uh, draw our hands. So you'll notice there are two different decks for each player. There is the power card deck, which are pre-constructed in this example, and the objective deck. So I've done that wrong. We play objectives first. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And it's you'll notice that this bit of hex here is blocked off. There's mm. no joining bits. No one's slightly thicker. So you can't go through this one. You can't place objectives on it. No. Around the outside of the board are incomplete hexes. These ones are the borderline. Is this a complete hex? No. Okay. So complete hex means complete hex. Yeah. And anyone that have the symbols on, which hopefully you can see on the stream, are your deployment ones. So you cannot place an objective on the starting position. When you place them face down, Nick will place one. 
So these objectives refer to some of the things on the yellow cards. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> So I could place this in the middle? Yep. This line in between is called no man's land, or no one's territory. And they could be touching each other? I believe so. I, maybe I'm wrong, but it's first place. For, for the purposes so no, of the this last game, one yes. has to be placed along the right side edge. Uh. So now we flip them? I don't believe so. Five? Uh, it doesn't say, I couldn't find when you flip them. <laughs> so when me and Sam played, we did it all mysterious that you have to move on to them to flip them. That's cool. So uh, that's how I'm going to teach it now, because it screwed me over and I lost. So I want the same thing to happen to you guys. <laughs> okay. Both of us. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I want you to both lose, so no one has any fun. <laughs> okay. But Ty I had fun, presumably. <laughs> Ty means everybody loses. <laughs> so, uh, so now we're going to do the, uh, the hands. So you draw... Three of the yellow cards, and those are your objectives, which score you these. At the end of the three rounds of a game, whoever has the most of these wins. You'll notice that some of them should refer to numbered objectives, which will be on the underside of these. Other ones will refer to game states. Yep. Then you draw five <coughs> power cards. If you don't like any of your objectives or power cards, you can take a mulligan where you throw away your entire hand, but it becomes discarded and you can never shuffle them back in. So if you do discard them, they are gone from the game. Five of these, you said? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Some of my cards have restrictions on them. Yeah. So there will be upgrades, which I'm going to find a card that Bill doesn't have. So, some of them, I can get this camera back I suppose. Some cards have got the upgrade symbol on it, which is the cog icon in the top left hand side. They sometimes refer to a specific hero, sometimes they do not. To to play an upgrade, you have to have one of these tokens to flip upside down. You can't just play them. Oh, So right. if you've got a full starting hand of just upgrades, right. it might be worth discarding them, it might not, depending on how good they are. So if you discard them, you never get them back. Mm. These oh. ones are like plot type cards where they do just different things. And the other interesting thing to note is this shades by a symbol up in the top right hand corner is means it's factionless mm. so any faction could take this upgrade whereas in can i steal one of yours this one is obviously the stormcast eternal so it's only for the stormcast or the liberators so because i imagine at some point a different stormcast gang will hope they could do vanguard yeah drop to reach up all these no it's fine i don't care i wasn't looking good good <laughs> you know i never pay attention to what you do <laughs> What I do all say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so once you're both happy ish with your hands, we roll off again for deployment. Two days. You can do three if you think it's going to make it easier. Or five, I don't care. <laughs> Looking for hammers. Hammer! Nope. One hammer for Phil. <laughs> so Phil deploys one of his Stormcasts on one of the deployment squares. Anywhere. Any one of them. No, in your territory. You didn't see that. <laughs> uh, I implied. But <laughs> well done for actually clarifying because people need to know. Now, Nick places one in your territory, which yes. is not this line here, because that's no one's territory. Not this board here, because yes. that's mine. Well, then, uh, let's put this guy over here. Um, I should point out that the number in the red circles on your character have a number of health they have. Right. It is rather pertinent. You may go. Alrighty. Uber in the bold. Giant hammer man, as I like to call it. Yeah. <laughs> So, 
Bill's finished and has to just sit and wait while Nick deploys the rest of his in the rest of my dudes. Yeah. That dude can live over there. Oh, you don't want the ones with two health at the front so we die sooner and then inspire the rest of your guys. That's true, I guess. That's, Corn that's does not idea. care where the blood flows. From whence the blood flows. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Advice. Aggressive. So who are your weaky guys? This guy and that guy? Um, this guy up here. Yeah. That's Targor. And then uh, Ar Ar Arnold is this guy. Yeah. Arnold. Those guys have two health. Arnold. Arnold. Yes. Okay, so Bill is first player. We, because I'm an idiot and forgot to find the um, actual turn marker things, we'll just use these for now. Ooh. If you grab four of them as well, Nick. Put yeah. them star side up. Oh. Um, shield, inspire a shield side up, I know. So they're not your victory points. Okay. So they're you were your turn markers. Okay, so and you were saying about. Um, Stuff that has a cog, you have to have a victory point in order to use. Yes. Okay. They have. Do they have? It's just one. Yeah. One you just you flip yeah. it upside down. But you still have that victory point, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Hundred percent certain. We'll, we'll walk. <laughs> you sound very certain. We'll walk through the first turn. It'll be easy. <laughs> um, so Bill is the first player. So the actions you can actually take is move a figure, charge of a figure. Attack with a figure, go on to guard with a figure, or you can draw a power card. Mm. If you do not, you can have more than five power cards in your hand, you can never have more than three objective cards in your hand. Okay. You can draw up your objective cards as an action as well, if you are ever in a position to be able to do so. And then other things might give you actions as well. I'm going to move this character. You will move one, flip this over. Ooh, you found a d20. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Objective with, number five. With only fives on it. Two, three. So now he has moved, so yeah. I will apply this not move token. Yeah, and then one of these flips over, shoot an action. Right. So before we <coughs> move on to the next turn, you have the opportunity to each play a power turn. Mm. In, starting with the player Whose turn it was, or whose activation it was. You continue playing power cards until you both pass. Nope. Pass. Uh, Bill will pass. Pardon me. Um, it looks like there are some power cards that activate after someone does a thing. Yes. Well, reaction. reaction. Yeah, reaction. Yes. Okay. And then there are some that say action, so that takes up. The action. Yes. Play. I'm going to be a crazy person. Yes. I'm going to play Blood Offering on Targor. Sounds appropriate. So he's going to take one point of mighty damage. Mighty damage. Yes, but um, I roll two extra attack dice for their first attack and the next activation. I feel like he's about to charge forward I, and die. I'll get my die ready. <laughs> okay. Hopefully I become inspired. So you this. now get the opportunity to play a card. Right, uh, but I passed. You'd oh, it's only if you both pass. Mm, okay. I see. Yeah, that's good. Reactivity. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I choose not to. You choose to pass again. I pass. If you want to pass, so I'll pass on the action phase. I guess the uh, action cards. Yeah. Okay. So we now go to your activation day. Okay. Of a blood reaver activation for everybody watching. Yes. Uh, I think I think Targor is going to charge this this guy right here. Targor, um, yeah. Targor. He has uh, a move of four. Yes, um, unless Hammer guy behind him has like less defense or something. Uh, no. So remember the, the how assisting defense. worked on offense. Yeah. It also works on defense. Oh. So if you were to engage two of them, he would get to add in. But that's only if I'm adjacent to two of them, yes. right? Okay. Yeah, let's just let's just do that straight up. So it's only if he's adjacent that my yeah. guy defends. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But at the moment, it's just rubbing your shoulder. Yeah. Is there <laughs> giving you this the sensual massage? You got this. Um, is there? Does we apply the token to... before he rolls dice? 
Um, right. Now, and I do an activation. Yep. So, you your modifier is at the moment. Is there anything else on his car for what he does? Uh, no. In the back cream code box on the right hand side. No. Nope, some of them are flavor text. text. Some of them are abilities. All of them are flavor text for me, except for Arnold. Yeah. He can do stuff on a crit. Oh. I'm jealous. Extra damage. Maybe I should have charged with Arnold instead. Oh well. His time will come. Yeah. Ready? I'm ready. I got it ready right here. So are you looking for hammers or crossed swords? Got a cross Ooh. sword. I got two hammers and a cross well, sword. Are you looking? So on your attack, oh, it will tell you sorry, what yes. you're looking for. I'm looking for cross swords. So we got one success. Mm-hmm. And Bill did not roll any. So what is the damage on his attack? Uh, it's two. Two. Oh my god. Well, what the? Is, is it damage ah. two? So uh, that's the number of dice you would know. Oh, is the star is damage? Yes. Yes. yes, damage one. Oh, thank okay. goodness. Yeah. You're weak. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do now? So, what you're going to do is Nick gets to play a power card. Oh, yeah. Um, also, um, what you can do is when you succeed on an attack, you can push them a hex. Mm. Uh, can I, you can always do that? Yes. By yes, I mean I'm checking, but yes. <laughs> um, no, I don't think I have any cards I want to play. Uh, neither do I. Okay. So, okay. no, my turn. So? Nope. Um, no one's playing any card? No. So, whilst, so you can't do any actions with this character anymore. Bill can only do, only not move this character. Yes. He can't do any actions? Or he can't he, try? This, he's, this he's character cannot move, do any actions oh. anymore. Oh. Because he's got this token. Right. Alright, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna boop, boop. activate Break Shield. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm at the one. So, when do I score my objectives? Not at to, the end phase. Not to give away my hand or anything. <laughs> uh, so, so that is the end of that. Some objectives might say if you are holding this objective, you score the card. You only hold objectives if you're on them in the end phase. Okay. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna stop right there. When you're moving, can you decide if you want to keep moving at any point? Yeah, well, basically, because I'm not 100% when these get revealed, once you enter that square, we'll flip it over, and then you can decide if you want to. I am not playing any power cards. Okay. Not playing any power cards, okay. Unsurprisingly, because the game isn't out yet, there's no FAQ. Yeah. <laughs> I read through the rules like one and a half times yeah. before this game, so it might be in there clearly somewhere, but I've just not found it yet. Totally fair. Totally fair, Chris. As long as it feels like a fun experience for me, All right. I don't mind. <laughs> Charging! You can you move four. Yes. No, all oh my guys move. All my guys move four. They're fast. Just kill wait seven. until I get ex- inspired. I hope so. Um. So he charged. So he gets one of these. Uh. And that was right. That was bloodied sake. So he gets two dice. And I'm looking for hammers or the these symbols. So yeah, have, because have you a, have I have a friend. You. Yeah. Oh, was I supposed to? When's the end phase? At the end, the of, end four? of all four. Oh, okay. I understand. I got two hammers. Oh. How much so, damage do you do? I do three damage. Oh yeah. Three that damage. Explodes. Bloody sake does three damage with his big axe. Yeah. Three okay. damage. So that guy's dead. Yeah. Two remaining guys are gonna do a lot of damage now. They do. It's Caspow. Uh, so I'm not gonna play any power cards. Are you gonna play any power cards? Gaspacho. Um, I don't believe so. Uh, no. No, I'm not. 
Alright. I will activate Aubrin the Bold. And he's gonna charge. Charge? Oh, uh, is he gonna charge? Yeah, he's gonna have to charge. But I'm not gonna hold that. Yeah, you will hold that. Oh no! I have an idea. You have a guy sitting on it. I have an idea. Yeah, I, I know, him but off. I'll, I'll I can move. push you. I'll move out. Do all of you guys move forward? All of you guys move forward. Yeah. Why are you guys so slow? This because is... they've got big clunky armor. No. But it's made out of... <laughs> it's made out of towels. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Um, hmm. Hmm. Did I mention that? Uh, you could play for the objectives and just move on to this one. Potentially get killed. He's going to be first player next turn, or will I be first player? It stays. Oh, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to go for the objective. I think. One, two, three. I think. It's going to stay for this game. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, I can. Can I backtrack? What do you mean? Like, could I move here and then move that way? Yeah. Well, you know what you could. Well, yeah. Yes, you can. For yeah. the purposes of this game. One, yes. two, three, four. Yeah. And charge around roundabout charges. You cannot move through enemy figures. Okay. You can't move through friendly figures either. Um, Unless. A card says. Charge action is a special action that lets you make a move action followed by an attack action with a single fighter. A fighter that makes a charge action cannot be activated again in the same action phase and is no longer on guard if they were on guard. So all it says is that. That means that you can move in whatever manner you want without moving through dudes. Um, and if I have two attacks, I can choose which one I want to use? Yes. Okay. Oh, cool. That's weird. <laughs> well, you know what? You can, you can see how um, uh, Gore Chosen was a precursor to this. Yeah, I was talking about that before. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Especially the, like, end of the game being determined by a rando throwing an axe from the audience. Well, no, it was, you were dead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so the audience, like, threw, but somebody from the audience threw a random axe and killed... <laughs> it killed me. Killed you, yes. Because I got to choose you or Spencer. Stealing victory <laughs> away from me. Yeah. Um, it was a tough choice, but I think I'm going to go with this guy. And he's going to charge as well, because mm. there's there's a thing. That's all you what I need to do. Well, Keep charging. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to chart to score this immediately. It's blood for the blood god. Blood. Score this immediately if three or more of your fighters made a charge action in this phase. Oh, nice. So you get a victory point. It doesn't victory have a victory point, point symbol on it. it oh, it does. Sorry, it just it's. I can't see that. It's underneath a guy who's screaming blood for blood guy. Savagely nearsighted. I'm surprised Calvin <laughs> didn't come down. Yeah. I'm surprised and I'll use the brutal chop. Yes. So I'm looking another. for swords. Three damage? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> oh my god. I got two swords and a crit. Oh. Hi, Dano. You so that miss. means that means it was a hit, right? So that's three hits? It's well, yeah, but I don't think that I don't think they combine like that, do they? So you can per successes. Yeah. And whoever has the most successes does uh, yeah. damage. Does so one damage. Two damage. Yeah. One damage listed on the card. Yeah, whatever damage is listed yeah. on the okay. card. In my so case, you don't get two. you don't get that many. No, damage. I don't no. get all okay. the, I don't get all the damage. So what's a critic what's the difference between a critical success and a sword? Um, it's always a success. As in it doesn't oh, matter. it's a wild card. Yeah. Got yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Uh, it doesn't matter what your symbols are. Cool. Are you gonna play any power cards? Uh, guy who absolutely never misses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. Um, I'll probably play one of these things. All right, I'm going to play this uh, this whirlwind of death on Carsus. <laughs> um, so basically, he just gets plus one damage on all ac attack actions with a range of one or two. So that is an upgrade. Yeah. So do I just put them underneath like this? Or However, yeah. Doesn't However, matter. You need to remember. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, do they go away? The upgrade ones do not. Really? Yeah. That's, that's why you spend your victory point to do it. Oh, kind of what I figured, yeah. But you played that. 
I'm going to play this Valiant Attack. Enemy fighters cannot support the target. Oh, never mind. That's an attack, not a defense. Never mind. I pass. Pass. No, no action cards? Okay. Uh, hmm. So you could still smoke me with that guy. I'm going to. What, is he, what kind smoke of damage him. does him do? He does three damage. He Jeez. kills pretty much any of your figures He'll apart from your leader. Okay. The um, leaders do it. have this little crown symbol, so you know who Warband is. It's a lot of <laughs> cards to play, but I'm going to play Insensate. Yeah, okay. So I'm like pain immune. So the next, the first friendly su fighter who suffers any amount of damage in the next activation only suffers one damage. Yeah. Great. I still pass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Apparently my cards were crap. <laughs> Should have mulliganed. But you wouldn't have gotten them back to realize that those ones were crap. The, the good this ones. Is, the good this ones. Is a learning later experience. On, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess I will move this guy. Uh, it's my turn. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. It is your turn. Your activation. Yeah. Jeez. How rude. That was incredibly rude. Mia uh, culpa. Mia culpa. I'm going to hit that guy. Okay. For one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to dodge that one. I think you should. I probably should. Did you pick up the one that I've been rolling? Because uh, it only rolls dodges. <laughs> well, well, that only that rolled a shield for me. So. Well, I guess I did one damage to you. Yes. Now you can go. I don't have any. Oh, okay. hang on. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, yeah. No, great. I I choose not to play power cards. Okay. Um, um, there is a thing that that should probably be brought up in an FAQ. Yeah. Uh, and I'll just show it to you because I don't want to tip my hand to Nick, who who would then react somehow and just roll more hits when he attacks me. I'm looking at you very curiously. So yeah, that could affect trying to read uh, your the way it's written. It could yeah. do his stuff. Yeah. So you play it in his turn to affect your. Mm. Oh, okay. Anyway, I didn't play any power cards. Okay. Um, uh, so I could hit more guys with this guy if I had more activations, because I, I did a move, but not a charge. So if I had a guy standing right here, neither of these two would be able to activate to attack. They can't They can't be chosen to activate at all. No. They, these two can still activate. But Those just can't be activated at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Great, mm -hmm. good, great. Okay. But we're on fourth activations, aren't we? Yeah, you're on your last activation, unless you want to play a power card right now. Uh, Mister, I'm going to play all yeah. my power cards. I know, I always never all. miss when I attack. Very foolishly. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, I don't have any more power cards to play. Uh, so I'm going to move this guy here to see what's under this. That's the two, in case anyone's wondering. I was. Yeah? We were very curious, I could tell. There six of these. There are more than that. Oh, the two, okay. They're from multiplayer games. Mm. I'll move over to this one, which is, is the four, surprisingly enough. Who knew? I know. By process of elimination. So we're all done now. Yep. So I suppose we just start another round, clear off our So noble all tokens. of the tokens come away. These should be on the character cards, okay. or else they would get removed. Yeah, fair which enough. Which no one wants. Oh. Well, I mean, it would be cool for me, but... Yeah. I think I got off to a decent start. So. I, I'd like to remove the four that are on Severin Steelheart. <laughs> bloody corpse. <laughs> um, Wouldn't we all? So okay, we, do we, we, draw, all tokens? we only draw cards when we you, choose to use an action to do so. No, you draw back up to five power cards. Oh, okay. great. That's cool. I like that a lot. That'll, that'll yeah. come in handy. <laughs> okay, I will double check, see if you can discard, or if you just draw five. Okay, I need to run to the end phase now. So check your objective cards. If you have met the conditions of any of the uh, cards, reveal those cards and collect a number of glory points displayed at the bottom. Glorious! I got one. You I'm can then discard it. any or all of your remaining objective cards, place them face up in the <laughs> discard pile. Because you find those dumb? Yeah. Or that one dumb? You killed my guy on the first turn. Oh, you okay. can then discard any of your remaining power cards and place them face up in a discard pile next to your power deck. Windmill so. slime. If you have fewer than three objective cards in your hand, draw objective cards until you have three, or your objective deck is empty. Oh, yeah. great. 
If you have fewer than five power cards in your hand, draw up to five. Interesting. <laughs> it's worth noting that this game does not end when you kill all of your opponent's figures. <laughs> what else is there to do? Score objectives. Score objectives that say you just killed everybody. <laughs> nice. Like, it is <laughs> It is not a victory to wipe out all of your opponent's figures. Because they might have won. Yeah, because they might have won. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I've scored my victory. I have my cards. Okay. So... Uh, I guess I begin. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, look at that. Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll start with Auburn the Bold and pound that guy silly. Oh. Two well days. now. That's very nice. I think there's more. There's definitely more hit symbols than there are defense symbols. There are. It's just like X-Wing. Hammers mm -hmm. are actually more common than crossed swords. Mm. Great. But I only attacked once last round, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, you did put yourself in a position to score two mixed up. So smashy smashy is what you're saying? Yeah. So zero hits. Zero hits? Yeah. I didn't block anything. Great. So zero is a result. Yes. Would you like to play a power card? No. Would Nick like to play a power card? Um, let's see. Where is that guy? Uh, he's over there. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll put this upgrade on Arnold. It is the Wicked Blade. Uh, so it gives him a different attack, basically one more die okay. to attack with, and even better stuff on crits. What does Cleave do? Cleave reduces the number of shields rolled. Oh, sorry, shields rolled do not count. So if you cleave with him against these guys who need shields to succeed... Oh, that's not what I thought it did. <laughs> I guess I should have asked. Uh, if an attack... <laughs> So, if an attack is noted as having cleave, uh, the targets of that action cannot use um, the shield symbol as a success, even if they are on guard. Mm -hmm. So, you would have to go on guard to use either crit. So, you still use criticals for the defense. And if you're on guard, you can use the dodges as well. Yeah. But it would still count towards inspiring you. Yeah. And you do remain inspired for the rest of the game. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hit that guy again. Uh, it says your, was it? You, I you haven't flipped a card. I played. I played a thing, yeah. but I haven't. Oh. I haven't actually uh, taken an action yet. Uh, yeah. Is that not an action? No, because we just go back and forth playing cards, don't we? Yeah, that was in. Uh, yeah, after you. He was playing. Oh, okay. So yeah. some of mine say action. Yes. Yeah. So you haven't taken a second activation yet. I'm still on the so, first. <laughs> so, so Nick gets Nick gets all the cards and upgrades <laughs> whenever he wants, and he never misses. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. <laughs> Are you trying to say that you want to play with Blood Reavers next time? This game's unfair. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna like it even less when Karsis brutal chops you. Because you can't miss? Oh, sorry, I don't get an extra die, I just get plus one damage. Oh, great. <laughs> Roll them simultaneously, or what? <laughs> That's a lot of hammer, and I wanted swords. So, yeah. Okay, you got a crit, so... That would have been one defense. Oh, no. is, is that a defense? Yeah. Even if he doesn't hit me? Yeah. Oh! Hold. Hot damn! That guy's dead. He did not get more health. He did not get more health, but he gets more defense dice. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. And look at all this other stuff. Fuck, it's lost. It's everything now. This game is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much less stupid than it was a minute ago. Just one minute ago. <laughs> are you done yet? Uh, that was it. That's <laughs> all I can do. All right, these two are going to kill each other. Oh. Two oh, dice. Yeah. Three damage. 
Um, Which they are from? the same. There must be something different. Knock back one and cleave. Oh. Oh, so you can knock him away from you. Right. Or you can cleave. Taking into account that he doesn't have any shield symbols yeah. on his defense, yeah, I'll probably yeah, yeah. use a knock back. I'm going to use the knock back. And he's just going to die if I hit him? Uh, he's got no wounds on him right now. But he has three. Yeah. Yeah, so he'll die. Yeah, you will explode him. <laughs> Moving <laughs> Nick just... one step closer <laughs> to inspiring the rest of his team. He has to have four guys dead? Three. Three, three yeah, guys no, dead? Any three, and... including yours. Oh. So he could just kill all three right. of yours, inspire all of his Corn Corn doesn't care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah blood inspired. is blood is blood. Oh, oh, double double crit. criticals. Game rules. So technically, you cannot. I'm gonna roll it anyway. Yeah, I got a shield. It doesn't help. So, in reference to critical, some abilities on your card do reference critical successes. Mm. This would be one in that instance. Yeah, you don't have anything on your card that right. references it though. So this guy now gets knocked back. Yep. And he can go into any hex. Okay. Yep. And then explode and die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically. I'm gonna I'm gonna final blow you though. Oh, that makes him take a wound. Yeah, it gives him a damage. Oh, okay. You just take a damage. Um, no dice, no nothing. Yeah. No fuss, no muss. Great. Oh, so I should get rid of this card then. Which one? The one that gives me cleave. Uh, he could go on guard. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I'm done. Do you want to play any power cards? Um, I mean, you get the first option. I'm not gonna. Okay, uh, I likewise don't think I have any to play. Great. Alright. <laughs> so if I defend once, I become inspired. Yes. Okay. When your guys explode because you failed to defend, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't help. <laughs> but. <laughs> And Nick failed I killed, miss. I killed your leader already, right? You killed the crap out of me. Yeah. Okay. Quit showing, sure. quit showing off. I'm, I'm just asking. He's checking for uh, winningness. Yeah, right. Just seeing, just seeing. It's all right. Nothing to get excited about. All right. Uh... It's interesting. The, uh, the fact that you can't move after you move makes this a game about bashing Position... each other in the face with dice. Positioning is really strong, actually, because if you do move, they can just move around you, and your position is completely relevant. Yeah. And like, especially with like the knockback abilities. Yeah. But like, um, if I want to go after an objective with her, the closest one to her is four spaces away. She cannot get there in one turn. No. There are cards that yeah. come into play. I'll just move there. And if you play against a four band like this, or you just keep aggressively feeding into you, yeah. and then you just smite them. Yeah. Don't smite me, man. I'm working on it. Don't smite me, bro. <laughs> Look at that giant smiting habit. So he hasn't done any moving. He could charge right now and go one, two, three spaces and smash. Yeah. That's a dick move. I know, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna over uh, no I'm gonna Sigma right grand hammer you. Sigma right grand hammer? Yeah. Sounds like a dumb attack to me. Well, it'd be so dumb. Uh zero hits. Cool. I rolled a crit. Okay. You critically dodge for no hits. Yep. Oh, so that guy is now charged. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see here. That was your second activation. Mm. Third. Yeah, sorry. Pretty sure. Mm, it seems like that. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Um, I'm sure if people are watching, they can tell us. Yeah, they'll tell us if, they, if we screwed up. All the people who know the game really well. <laughs> exactly. The game that's not out the, the game will, the game will be goes up for pre-order tomorrow. Yeah. I'll, I'll charge. Oh, it's helping. Da-da-dump, dump, da -da -dump. Uh, That was... Arnold, yes. Arnold, yeah. 
I think we're about to be inspired. Give me some crits, baby. Uh, oh, nothing but shields! So that would be two successes. Unfortunately, two shields wins. Can I be doubly inspired? You could flip it back over if you like. I would advise it. <laughs> no, so there isn't like a third no, option. There is no nothing on your card that has. <laughs> okay, and that was my third, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Weak sauce. <laughs> so when you have an adjacent friendly figure, you count the half one. Yes. Yeah. What are the full ones? The full ones, I believe, are more than one friendly figure, but I cannot see it in a ruse okay. yet. So she's going to charge. Ooh, risky business. Two, three. Swinging for the fences, Mr. Bill. Um, yeah, so she gets three attack dice. And gets two hits. Well, I can't dodge that. How much damage does she do? Two! Okay, well, I did dodge one. You dodged one. And I still take two and die. Yes, if you have two or more supporting figures, you count the mm. fully enclosed yeah, okay. ones. That makes sense. sense. That's cool. Uh, so, he is now inspired. His, his the remaining rest, three yeah, guys all, all flip? Yep. jeez. Oh, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool. Sounds cool. Um, Alright, so action cards? Yeah, I hmm. don't have any to play. My guys get even faster. That's like most of what happens with the inspiration. Oh. They get, oh, they get five movement great. instead of four. So I'm sitting here counting one, two, three, four, and I <laughs> realize you could go to five. Yes. Apparently. Yes. I think some of them get some extra dice, too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so it's my turn, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to play this healing potion. Oh. No! Where did that come from? Was... You get healing potions? You get healing potions as well, you've just not drawn it yet. <laughs> I haven't touched my cards because I don't know if they're better or worse. You really uh, should have looked at these before yeah, I started. So you roll a black die, Nick? It doesn't matter. I don't know, cause... but we're going to go through okay. the rules anyway. If you uh, roll a shield or a critical, you get to remove up to two damage. You didn't, so you want to remove one yeah. damage. He's back up to two wounds <laughs> now, so you I still know. one shot him with any of your attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he take a wound from? A moral victory. He gave it to himself. Well, probably gave it to myself. At the start of the game. Yeah. Um. This game is infuriating. <laughs> I'm glad you so liked you, it. So you would get to build your own deck. Yeah. Which will help because... Obviously knowing what's in the deck yeah, might yeah. help. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. get to build your own objective deck as well. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's I'll good. I'll charge with this guy as well. Yeah. Just four spaces? Yep. Just the four. You're juiced up, man. You can go all the way. I know. He's on the roids. <laughs> and he can go farther if he needed to. But he's just going to go the four. And Garad is going to be angry. Okay, so I don't think that's anything. Uh, oh. Nope. But I didn't get anything. Quadruple inspired. But so inspired. <laughs> you are inspiring to me, though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the guy with one wound left has been not rocking it. He has. I know. I know. Where, he should be dead. Where was he when Severin Steelheart? Died like a chump. See, what he was like, oh, I'm going to take over this wall. Fit the immediate dust. <laughs> Finally. This guy has been a chump leader, middle managing, goofball. <laughs> this is my chance. Okay, so that was your action. I don't have any power cards to play. Do you have any before I do? Uh, no. Okay. All right, so okay. that is round two. Yep. Yeah. Now we get a third round. So, we check for any scored objectives? No. Um... Can we play those now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'll play It Begins, because at least one person is dead on both sides. Oh, yeah. On each side. Okay. Then you can discard any objective card you don't like. Well, I already killed your leader, so that doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't think I'm going to make it to and objective four in two turns. Draw, draw more. Uh, then you draw back up to three. Yep. Then you can discard any power card you don't like. And draw back up to five. <laughs> Oh, cycle so, of all. So, 
Righteous zeal is no good. Um, that one's okay. I'm gonna discard great fortitude. Nick never misses when he attacks. <laughs> it, yeah, just missed, missed, it just missed like twice. Oh, I went to it just now. <laughs> Oh no, sorry, that's my guide of uh, And cleave does mean nothing. Okay, so, draw two. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and I guess we remove all these too. Yes. Those can all go away. Alright, and I am the first player. Ever the first player. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna activate. I'm gonna move this guy. One, two, three. You may go. Okay. Uh, power cards. I don't have any power cards. Okay. Uh, I will. Let's see. Oh, you moved your wounded guy away, didn't you? I did. Like some kind of good player. <laughs> yes. Some kind of good player. I should read what my objectives do. So that you can defend more easily. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Interesting that some of them are timed. Can you play multiple... Can you play multiple uh, upgrades on the same character? Let's see why not. Cost you a victory point. But, well, you have to have a victory point available to do it, I guess. That's how, yeah. that's how Chris understands it. I will check for you. I don't know. Did say spending a glory point? Hmm. Each time one of your fighters takes a opposing fighter out of action, you score a glory point. When you meet conditions and object discard, you know. Nope. Oh. I was supposed to get one and you were supposed to get two? Yeah. If you score a number of glory points specified on the card, you can spend the glory point in the end phase to play an upgrade card on one of your fighters. Sorry, so upgrades are in the end phase. I was bad. Oh. When you do so, flip the glory point over to show it's been spent. At the end of the game, whoever has the most bought glory points, both spent and unspent. Mm. Oh, okay. So are we going to uh, change the object or the uh, upgrade so we can do them at the only do them at the end of the round now? Yes. Okay. We've got a four round, right? Three. Three. <laughs> so this is the last round. Yes. <laughs> so. Nick, it's your turn. By the way. Yeah, I know. Okay. Just decide. That makes me, that makes things a lot more simple for me. So. Does it involve the word charge? <laughs> <laughs> or objectives? The word charge might come into it. She's so dainty. It's currently a 4 4 game as well. Yeah. Tense. <laughs> What are your thoughts so far? I like it. I, I think it'll be more interesting once I like dig into it. It's good yeah. cards and stuff. I did throw you in at the deep end. I was messaging it. So I was messaging him earlier. Just, Just, Just the move. Just the move. Oh, yeah. Just a move. It's oh, true. Oh, when she moves away, you're gonna be so sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Uh, are you going to play any power cards? Uh, no. Well, I am. Can I remain blocking, uh, on guard when I hit someone? Um, it said when you charge you lose it. I yeah. don't know about when you attack. Alright, I'm doing it. So I flip one of these. Okay. Um, That's an this upgrade. fighter and all adjacent friendly fighters go on 
guard. That's an upgrade, though, isn't it? Oh, upgrades only happen in the end phase? Yeah. yeah. But it's an action. So I can't take actions in oh. the end phase. I think so you can you always, play after you play the upgrade, you can okay. always play that action. Yes. Like that, you just gain that action. After you place the upgrade oh, on you just have so to oh, He would have oh, 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 played oh, oh. that in the end phase. Yeah. What? Well, in the end phase? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. I totally would have if I had known. Like three turns ago. <laughs> yeah. uh, I had a couple of those I could have played too then. Mm. It's okay. It's, I game, I had to it's wait. game one. Yeah. We're, We're trying to suck you in. Figuring like things out. Okay. Are you playing one then? Like, are you I, playing I retroactively okay. haven't yeah. played that. All right. Uh, do you mind if I do the same then? Not at all. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so it's a current I drew, like I drew most of these, but this one I had already. Uh, I'm going to give give Garrick great strength, so he's plus one damage on attack actions with a range of one or two. Okay. Actually, no, it's damage. I'm going to go on Tarbor instead. Somebody who has more dice. Well, technically, if you put it onto Garrick, you one shot his characters. Yeah, but Garrick only rolls two dice to attack. But if it's a so damage is harder to get. Uh, it's true. Yeah, so it's so if you put so basically off. if you put it on the guy, you does two damage. He would go to three damage, so you would need to succeed twice to kill them. Yeah. Compared to not putting it on him, you need to succeed twice to kill them. It's a trade off. No, it's not. It's. Um, Oh, I guess, yes, because they're, they're all health 4. <laughs> yes. I guess, yeah. Well, the healthy one is health 4. The unhealthy one... Yeah, yeah, yeah. One either, one. either way, like, yeah. it's... Yeah, the number, of, the number of hits that I have to land is the same. Yeah. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to block it up? Extend my action, and blocking, everyone goes on guard. <clears throat> okay. Oh, everyone yeah. who's adjacent. Because I'm about to die. Here's how I know. I'm about to get the crap killed out of me. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, so now my now power it's... card. Yeah. Enemy fighters cannot support the target of the first attack action in the next activation. Cannot support the target of the first attack. Yeah. So if this guy charges in here, then he can't support. Okay. And then this goes away. But support the target, right? Not uh, the... the target of the first attack action. So yeah. the first attack action that you declare oh, next yeah, yeah. round okay. cannot be supported. Unsupporting me, huh? Yeah. It's, you're, you're a devious man, Mr. Bill. I know. Do you want to uh, play any power cards? Uh, I can't, so no. Okay, um, then I will play the Peel of Thunder. That's what the Peel of Thunder sounds like? Yep. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing again and, and make me? it so that this guy can't support. And he gets pushed one? Yeah. It's just pushed out of one hex in any one direction. But he can't go this way, can't go this way, or this can't way, or this way. Anyway. And That's irritating. Go here. He can't move again. At all? He's already moved. He can't do a move action again. You can't move him. No. But he can be moved yeah. through other No, but then, yeah. whichever hex you're moving him to, as long as it's not adjacent. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Alright, I'm done. You done with your chicanery now? I, I am. That was my card. Now, would you like to play any cards? No. Alright. So now you get to pass. Now I pass. Okay. So now both of you passed. Yeah. We move on. Okay. Winner. Yeah. I guess I'll charge with this guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. blood burned. She gets two days. No, she only gets one. Uh, he gets three. I'm pretty sure, yes. So do you count the dodges as successes? Right. But I don't Does get it take your inspiration, though? Uh, oh really? It's uh, only if you succeed. If you you don't even need to succeed. You just need to roll. Right. But critical? Oh yeah. Or yeah, I don't care. I'm gonna smash your face. Nope. No. I'm not gonna smash your face. You sure. I'm gonna hit you once. Neither yeah. of us. Once. Yeah. How much damage? One. Uh, that's Arnulf. Nope. No. That's no Targor. Uh, two damage. Two damage. Yeah. Take it. Right. So I'm not going to make the two, which I'd like to, and I'm not going to get denial, so the best I can do is score number five by staying alive. Or by killing someone to get an extra one. Yeah. Well, I can do both. You can. 
So I'm going to activate <coughs> this one was spent to go on guard. This one is going to be spent to attack that guy. Three dice! Oh my god. Here's your defense. She's one. awesome. She is. She's my favorite. She sucks ass. She's still alive. That one needs a hobby. She sucks. <laughs> Oh no! The smartest of hammers. Told you. Oh, did you did you actually want hammers? Yes, yeah, I no. do. Damn it! No. Two damage. Uh, the explodes. Yep. That'll that'll kill. That'll kill Targor. Targor. Two hit points. Targor the barbarian. Yeah. Did you get your victory eye point? A glory point. Right there. Oh yeah. How glorious for you. All right. So. It's friendly characters. You have one more. Eh? Yeah. And you have two. Yeah. Well, there's a good yeah. chance I'm not doing anything with one of them. <laughs> Why don't you use it? Um, well, you can't because you need to be set here now. I know. I'll, uh, I'll draw a card. Ooh. Draw a card. In the hopes that it was something awesome. Well, I'm going to charge. Lose my guard. I can go into this space? Yep. I can go into this space? Yep. There's no, there's no uh, attacks of opportunity or anything. Nope, it's not a thing. Not as far as I've made up. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> so yeah, I never miss. <laughs> You're never missing the early game. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I could almost have gotten denial and annihilation. <laughs> so close. So yeah, if I had, if I had that done was... denial and annihilation, that's. Five, six, seven, eight. The last round is done. Yeah. So you've got your last round. I guess no, you've already thrown away. And I, and I don't action. have anything else to do. I can draw a card, I guess. You don't want me to draw it back into my hand? No. Uh, this game's dumb. I should have charged you there. Did the card help? No. I was I was trying to like make him do something, but that was a bad idea in retrospect. Yeah. Okay. You could have just passed. Yeah, I should have charged you. Well, so you that's, can't move now. So. Yeah, yeah. You can, can you draw objectives? No. No, I don't think so. No? You, if you have less than three, you can draw objectives. Mm. Right. Okay. But if you have three, you cannot. Okay. So it seemed a little swingy. Uh, okay. I have I have this too, though. What? I can I can yeah. play conquest because oh. all my guy all my surviving guys are in your zone. Uh, uh, is that an objective? So we're in the end phase. Yeah, right? we're in the end phase. Yeah, okay, so that is an objective. So I've got objective five. So I get one for that. Well, count them up, boys. I have six. I have um, four, five, six, seven. Oh! Oh, so close. I won. Yeah, I definitely won that in the last round. Yeah, that was, that was a bad one. got last an too. Yeah, I know. It wasn't helpful for me. No. <laughs> I, needed to, I, needed to, I needed to charge and kill your guy. Yeah. Both of them. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I tried to get too fancy. And you also uh, kind of figured it out a little bit. Yeah. You stopped leaving your guys open for me to just charge the crap out of you. Bill got good. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best way. I've heard that advice many times. Get good? You give that advice much. You, you give that advice all the time yeah. as well, frankly. So. And did it pay off for you? Did getting good help? Did getting like good it, work I for you? I feel like it did, yeah. So considering this is the core box with the starter decks, how do you feel about the game so far? I dig it. I like it. It's I'd cool. Play it again. Yeah. Um, it seems good. Um, I'd be curious to see what kind of like building options you have. Yeah. How it works. From what I gather, and all of this is unsubstantiated because I haven't finished reading the rule book yet. So you're just making stuff up. Yes. <laughs> um, the war bands, as in, so these five people are yeah. always fixed. Yeah. If you take this war band, those are the five people you get. Yeah. The customization comes in the deck and the objective deck. Mm, right. Um, the fluff wise thing being that it's a city of uh, mirrors and stuff, so you're different reflections of the same uh, people going okay. around the city. Whoa. So you can fight yourself, yeah. and that's how they get around it fluff wise. Like um, the. Like the Conan the Barbarian evil mirror stuff. Yeah. Um, but that's not to say that there won't be a different Blood Reavers warband. Yeah. Because like, none of the cards have point costs on them or anything like I've that. I've noticed that. I've yeah. seen. 
So there's no, there's no uh, there doesn't seem to be a, a fixed way you do squad building like that. No, it will, again, I've not finished reading the rule book yet, but I believe it's all in how you build the upgrade decks and stuff like that. Um, and obviously, the generic upgrades are going to be relatively powerful mm -hmm. and give you a more versatility. Well, yeah, like that, the healing potion would have been huge for you in the first round. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously, I really like the idea of you picking your board piece. It's like picking your asteroids in X-Wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah, and um, they're open and uh, cluttered. Yeah. So there's, I guess there's one open and one cluttered. Yeah. Yeah. So you can have it fully open, or you can have it a little messy. Yeah, and there's a lot of options in there. I'm pretty impressed. It plays relatively easily. Um, I think like, having the knockback rule in the um, there's a few different things. I really like the way the activation works, yeah. where you only get the four. Yes. I think that's so good. It balances it out really well. Uh, I think obviously, you're looking at the box now, the Undead have seven yeah. models in the Warband, I think. Yep. But you can only ever activate four of them. Yeah. So, it gets interesting. I'm excited to see what the Skaven get. Yeah. End. And obviously, for the Stormcast only having three, you get the. Um, is it better to move in for an action so that that person can attack multiple times? Yeah. Or do you charge in in the hope that you just explode someone before they get to go? And <laughs> knowing, knowing what the objectives are um, uh, can obviously make a big difference. Yes. So my first objective was Eternals. Score this in the third end phase if none of your fighters are out of action. Well, that would have been cool. Except he killed one in the first turn. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'm not like sure if there's two or three of those in the deck, so... Yeah. Um, in phase, if your warband took an enemy leader out of action. So a lot of them are, are multiples. Uh, there's all the... I think it, it worked, so... All the hold ones are generics. That's a generic. These ones are, you yeah. Warband specific. Yeah. So obviously, when you open the pack that says "Don't open until you've played a few games," I imagine this is the pile of objectives you're going to get to play around with. These ones are mm. pretty. You'll still be able to take. We might put more of these in. I expect. But yeah, there must be uh, deck building rules in the, yeah. the rule book. I will let you have a look. That's near the end.